For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Particular march in Karnataka, which started yesterday, that was uh, participated by around uh, 30,000 uh, Anganwadi workers and helpers from all over the state, which was mainly focusing on a particular demand of <laughs> to the Karnataka government, which has issued an order that the preschool uh, education uh, in overall state will be uh, shifted from the Anganwadis uh, from uh, up to 3 to 6 year old children will be shifted from Anganwadis to the uh, schools. Here we want to say that uh, the role of the Anganwadi centers and uh, in the child development. Actually, the, this is one of the unique schemes uh, to have an overall development of the child. It is taking care of nutrition, health and education, all components. It's not that uh, preschool, it's as an uh, early childhood care and development. So there, uh, now what is happening, even the central government education policy and many state governments are also pushing to have the preschool because it is a big market in India, preschool education market to promote the pre private pre-primary school. Here accordingly the government has issued an order. That was that was the focal demand. So and, and along with that then the when their question of the strengthening of the ICDS also is there along with that. To make the uh body centers as an overall child development center. Three to six year old children are already supposed to be attending the Anganwadi centers. And if the three to six year old children are taken away to the schools then what is what will happen to the um, health care, what will happen to the nutrition and that is our concern. And the secondary then then the and it is natural that there is no role of Anganwadi when it's only the uh, take home ration which is there because the child care and their thing is taken away from the Anganwadi which is going to close down the Anganwadi center. This is primarily it is a question of the diet of the child and the secondary it is a question of the existence of the Anganwadi centers and then the uh, question of the job security of the workers and helpers. Uh, the other thing is that the existing preschool education system in India, <laughs> it is totally unregulated. There is no curriculum or syllabus and for the preschool teachers. There is uh, no uh, cr criteria for the appointment of the existing preschool teachers. So only people who are uh, having a design, having a curriculum and having a training is the Anwadi workers and helpers. Mm -hmm. The government is giving a plea that they are not trained. They are the only trained people in the country who are educated to have the, uh, part of the preschool education. 
and yeah, my is also that you regulate the entire existing preschool education in the government attitude also was very negative they declared 144 in bangalore now also it's going on and they uh, declared 144 in tumkur where the march was supposed to start march from there started from there and there are two kilometers the police stopped us we can but uh, let us have a dialogue with the government that was actually the purpose of the meeting so we abide by that and we stay, stay back in the uh, class house uh, my dad people are sitting peacefully there Uh, on in large numbers and people are pouring in from different parts of Karnataka, adding to the existing numbers. This is the situation as of now.